hello everybody. Um, today is Tuesday, so I wanted to do, to do a live for you guys to say hello and to give you some updates. So today has been an upside, an upside down, crazy weird day. So I've got paperwork and stuff. Um, to talk about so I'm actually in bed doing this from bed because like it's that kind of day so I woke up with um with severe like sinus issues like literally um sorry I'm gonna put my glasses up um literally like sinus pressure like here really bad so like I know I've been saying like I need to get to the ENT eventually I'm going to have to so like I had a really bad um, sinus <clears throat> thing this morning and um, all that goes along with that so anybody who's had sinusitis or sinus issues before will totally understand what I'm saying so that was really really rough this morning and then um, anybody who knows Wisconsin or Wisconsin Midwest weather kind of thing will kind of understand um, that sort of weather situation so we were kind of dealing with cold and all that stuff this morning so um that was the thing and then um we get ready because there was a 9 30 appointment for my mom's treatments so we're like okay cool so I forced myself to get up get dressed and I put on lipstick and everything because I was like you know what I'm gonna force myself to feel cute and to feel like a person and everything like that so <clears throat> we get ready mom gets ready and she didn't have like a lot of energy but like she mustered up all of her energy and she was like you know what? I'm gonna go I'm gonna do this treatment we're gonna stay positive we're gonna make today happen so we do all these things and we get to the elevator and there's this sign on it saying out of service it's the only elevator there are two stairwells well you can't get a wheelchair down the stairs especially in our case so we were stranded on the second floor so I told mom take a deep breath don't freak out I'll call and cancel the cab so I called and canceled the cab and so then I went and I called the front desk and I said hi you're so the elevator what's going down so they said oh in about an hour we're having an electrician look at it um as soon as we know um we will let you know okay cool all right so we call and we say hey there's no way we're going to make our treatment because the treatment is like literally in a half hour and you know you can't make that so um, they were like, okay, cool, um, as soon as you know what's going on with the elevator, let us know, and we will reschedule. So they weren't mad or anything, but, like, you know, huge inconvenience. So then mom's like, I don't want to eat anything, I don't want to drink anything, because she needs to have a full bladder for her treatments and stuff, and she didn't want to be, have an upset stomach and whatever. So we're not eating anything, we're not drinking anything, we're just chilling out. So I was like, hey... Okay, some time to, like, rest in the king-size bed that they provided me with over here. Can I don't know if you guys can... Oops, you're not seeing it really well. It's like a king-size bed. I'm down. Okay, we've been stressed and stuff. I'll lay down in it because I was having, like, a little bit of a headache at that point. I don't know if it was, like, the stress or the sinus stuff or a combination of both, but I was like, okay, I'm down. I'll lay down for a little while. Like, not to sleep, but just to, like, chill. So I did that. I chilled out a little bit. I played some Candy Crush. I'm not going to lie. I was going to take advantage of this. You know, hey, I'll relax. You know, I'll, I'll take some time to, I'll take a little time to enjoy the, the, the view, if you will, you know. Um, so we hung out for a while and then we get a call from radiology saying, um, hey, we're having meetings. So, during this period of time when the meetings are, we can't have your appointment. However, um, your 
uh, elevator is working again because there's another patient that's also staying at your hotel and um she is currently getting a treatment right now and I'm like what so um that's a thing so the hotel didn't let us know but the um the actual um radiology department let us know that the elevator was working again so props to the radiology department for being awesome um and allowing us to know that that we could go so um they rescheduled the appointment so with the appointment rescheduled we um called a cab and scheduled that so I said specifically hey we need um, a cab for two people one person to sit in the front there's gonna be a fold-up wheelchair okay cool guy really wasn't that enthusiastic with me whatever it was ordered okay fine great so we go down there or I get a text saying that like they're gonna be there like incredibly early Okay, fine, we can roll with it, whatever. This day has been crazy. We've rolled with things. We handled things as good as can be. We're down. Fine, we go down there. We meet this really nice guy who ends up working at the restaurant in the hotel. And he lost his mom to cancer. She had to go through radiation treatments. And it was horrible. She went through all the stuff that mom went through, is going through now. So we talked with him for a little while and he was so nice and sympathetic. And then he had a great aunt who had dementia and we went through that with granny. So we talked to him and it was like so nice to just talk to a genuine nice person who was kind and compassionate. And he just reminded me of so many of you guys that come here to these live chats and like see them on YouTube and leave us comments and send us emails and are just like rooting for us. And so it was just so nice to like meet somebody and talk to them face to face and, you know, have that experience, you know, somebody new and, and whatever. So that was kind of cool to spend our time. And then the cab came. So then the guy's like, oh, I didn't realize it was two people. It said only one. So that was frustrating because I clearly told the dispatcher two people, but whatever, the cab driver was like fine. So we go to the hospital. So we were there like incredibly early, but that was fine. So we met like this nice lady, mom was talking to her and then they were like, hey, the doctor wants to see you. So we go in, see the doctor and talk to her and she gave us some suggestions on things that mom can eat because of course, you know, we told her mom can't eat a lot of things. It irritates her stomach and, and makes her upset. She gave some suggestions on how mom can take some of her medications to make her feel better, um, things like that. So, okay, fine. So then... Another lady comes in and gives us mom's schedule moving forward. Okay, things are going to be rough in February. Why are things going to be rough in February? Well, well, actually, we have two pieces of paper here. So let's deal with the first one. Then we'll get to February. So January. So this Friday, after treatment, we're going to go directly to another appointment. So that means she's going to have two appointments back to back. Um, she's not looking forward to that because she barely, you know, she barely feels like she gets through the treatment, let alone having an appointment right after the treatment. And especially with potty issues and stuff, she's not thrilled with that. But they went to the effort of making the appointment and everything, so we can't cancel it. So that's a thing that's very upsetting that came out of today that she's not happy about. So that's one thing so friday is going to be a rough day because friday is like boom boom appointments um and all that however um i haven't set it up yet but i do have a tiny bit of a surprise for her that is going to be um after that appointment i haven't told her about it yet i'm gonna tell her about it after this live so i think she'll be a happy camper about that one part of friday but other than that, she's not going to be thrilled. So, yeah. That's going to be a thing. 
Um, then February, February is not going to be very fun at all. So February, um, she's going to start the internal, um, radiation. And so that's going to start on Wednesday, February 7th, um, at 630 in the morning. And that goes eight hours total. But we're really going to end up being there 10 because they want you to show up early, two hours early, in case they're running behind or whatever. So it's really going to end up being 10 hours there total because the procedure itself is eight hours. So it's really going to be 10. So we're going to be there 10 hours starting at 6.30. And then um, February 13th is her second one and that's also going to be at 6.30. And then February 16th we're going to be there at 9.30 in the morning. And then the 20th and then the 23rd so I haven't actually looked at a calendar yet um but yeah it's going to be pretty intense there for a while um in the month of February so she is not looking forward to that at all um so those are going to be the internal treatments um, they're also called brachytherapy, so she's not um, happy about those. She is going to be having, um, also after treatment, um, I believe it's after her treatment. It might be before her treatment. I am not sure because we don't have the schedule next week for when her treatments will be. So I don't know if it's before or after her treatments. Um, we'll have to see when and if they come in. Um, she's going to have her preoperative um, medical history, physical exam, and medication list um, meaning um, on my birthday, which is on Monday. Um, so that'll be before or after her treatment on Monday. So that's not going to be happy for her because Friday she's having something right after treatment. And then she's going to be having the same kind of thing on Monday. So that's not going to be happy. And then at some point um, I'm going to ask her, I'm going to ask the assistant because I forgot at that moment to ask about the anesthesia clinic thing. Because I know that at some point between now and February 7th, she's supposed to meet with the anesthesia clinic. So we have to find out when that is and where that's going to be and all of that good stuff. So we have to figure all of that out. So mom is not happy that her treatments are gonna go till the end of February. It was supposed to be the beginning of February, um, but due to other patients and scheduling and things, it's not happening that way. Um, so it's like prolonged and we're not sure how we're going to handle that in terms of, um, hotel and moving around and stuff like that. And of course, because we're finding this out during the day, we haven't been able to talk about it as a family or, um, you know, kind of talk about it with Jared or, or see anything like that. So this is going to be going for quite a while and then there are going to be the follow-up scans and appointments into March so this is going to be going on for quite a while so there are, it's a lot it's a lot to process it's very overwhelming so she's very upset emotionally right now which is very understandable this is very overwhelming information for her um, I just wish I could make it easier for her I mean my kind of mantra has been We'll roll with the flow. We'll make it happen. We're we're doing okay. We're doing good. It's it's you know, and she keeps saying, Well, yeah, it's good for you. Yeah, you're rolling with the flow. Yeah, you're making things happen. You know, she's she keeps saying, like, you know, it's easy for you, you know, um which is not at all, but I get where she's coming from. Um but so we're just going to keep trying our best and just keep moving forward 
and um, we'll make what we need to have happen happen. Um, what else? So today's been a rough one, but we managed to get after that. Um, she had her treatment. And then we called the cab and we got in the cab, which was interesting because there was another passenger as well, which is so weird because on the thing it said just us, but they picked up this other person who was actually going further, so that was special. Um, and then um, they dropped us off and we were here and we had lunch. Um, Mom had oatmeal. And I had cream of wheat, and um, I had some Power Powerade Zero. I went back to zero. I was just having the regular Powerades in Fruit Punch, but I decided to go back to zero. It is hard to get back into zero because I really do miss the sugar. Like it does make a big difference, and it does have a bit of an aftertaste. But I'm trying to get myself back into it because it's so much better for me and I'm still getting all the things that I need from it. So I'm trying to get myself back into the zone and be like, it's not so bad. It's good for you. You know, do it. You can do it. So I'm getting back into that zone. Um, and then I think for dinner, I had gotten myself a lot of um, like vegetables and stuff. So I think I'm just going to do that for me because I had gotten myself like some like dip things and so I might just have some dip and some vegetables because that's what I got for me because I just kind of want to do some like simple things for me because my stomach really hasn't been that like I haven't been craving super super horrible bad things lately. I mean I have had like I had a craving for pizza and then I kind of like played that out and then like last night I had a craving for burgers and we actually got um, burgers from this place that has custom ones on State Street and um, they were really super good super super good um, but now I'm kind of, like, all played out from that, and I just want to, like, have good stuff. Um, so that's why this week I just had, like, simple soup, simple stuff. Like, we're eating really simple stuff for the most part. Um, it was just kind of those naughty things on the bookend days. Um, and I probably am going to have something naughty, um, this weekend, because this weekend we're celebrating my birthday since on my actual birthday we're going to be having treatments and meetings and it's going to be medical marathoning stuff. So I won't be able to actually celebrate my birthday. It'll be kind of, you know, unfun things on my birthday. On my actual birthday, it's just going to be a lot of unfun, unhappy things. So um, this weekend we're going to celebrate my birthday instead. <clears throat> So this weekend, my boyfriend and I are probably going to go out to dinner um, to a, um, oh, what are they called? You know, like a Japanese restaurant where they do the hibachi, hibachi restaurant um, that we haven't tried before that we really want to try. And um, we're probably going to see a movie. Um... We're either going to see a movie or I'm I'm kind of torn. Like, I'm torn between going to see a movie this week or next week. Um, and then just kind of hang out and spend time together and just kind of enjoy. And then um, some of my birthday presents. We're going to open my birthday presents and have a cake. Um, I decided that I want an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen because... I just, I really like the little crispy bits that they put in between, if that makes sense. Um, the layers. So, <clears throat> and I haven't had an ice cream cake in a really long time. I don't think I've had an ice cream cake since I was in New York. So that's like almost two years now. So, like since I lived in New York. Not since I've been to New York, but since I've lived in New York. So it's been like almost two years now since I've had ice cream cake. So I'm kind of like down for that. 
at this point, I'm like, I think on my birthday I can have like a slice of that, but like a small one because I don't think right now with mom feeling the way she is and Jared doesn't really go for sweets that much, like we can't handle like a huge ice cream cake, so it would have to be a small one because it's probably just going to be the three of us. Um for it unless we can convince friends to hang out with us this weekend which I doubt on short notice we could do that so um yeah so that's kind of the update for today I know this is probably kind of really boring for all of you but I just wanted to kind of hop on and let you guys know kind of the updated situation um this is going to be going up on YouTube on the weekend also, I wanted to let you guys know that Operation Nina Code Pink 2 is going on this weekend. I am going to hop on and kind of like kick it off and explain some things um, for that. They, I believe, still are looking for casters, maybe. I'm not sure on that. You would have to talk to Brittany. The wonderful Brittany right now is casting on Twitch um, herself. Um, her Twitch name is evil underscore knights, I think, if I believe that is correct. Um, if you have not checked her out, you probably should check her out on her individual channel. Um, but anyway, you can, um, the reason that I'm telling you what her Twitch is, is because you can always private message her on Twitch or on her Twitter or on Discord about casting or donating artwork because she's also taking donations for artwork to be um, given away either via auction or giveaway. I'm not sure which one she decided on um, during the marathon to help with donations and things. So lots of really great things are going on for the marathon. She's running the marathon this time um, just due to the fact that I really can't at this juncture um, cause I'm taking care of mom and, and helping with all of the different things. Um, but the marathon is in wonderful hands. I would not have let her, um, do it if I didn't think she was capable and she has gone above and beyond already and it hasn't even started. So I am so excited for that. Mom and I are going to be watching the marathon and doing everything we can to help make it, um, a success and to help everybody out and we'll be enjoying it as viewers. Um, and I will give you guys updates as we know them. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you have any questions or concerns or anything that, um, I may not have explained very well because I'm just like tired and stressed and stuff, feel free to ask them privately if you don't feel comfortable talking, you know, in these lives or, you know, like in the comment section on my YouTube videos or whatever. Um, just feel free to like send me a private, you know, message here on Facebook. I'm always willing to talk to you guys and I really just enjoy um, the communication and thank you so much again for all of your prayers, your continued support, and your continued kindness and just love. We really do appreciate it so very much. You've been so kind. It means the world to us, all the love and support that we've gotten. Like, Mom and I appreciate it so very much. And I know that this is an unflattering angle, but, like, it's been such a long, horrible day. You don't even know. All right. Um, we appreciate everything, and we appreciate you. And um, I will update you guys more when I can. And, again, um, this is going to go up on the YouTube channel probably um, this weekend. We're going to have a marathon this weekend. Um... And I'm just going to keep you guys posted as much as I can. Um, and if you have any questions or comments or, you know, anything that you just don't want to have, like, super public, feel free to send me a private message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. So, have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye!